All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chicago Bears Daily. My name is Jackson. I post Daily Bears content that I like, but hit that sub button. So earlier today, Roquan Smith got traded to the Baltimore Ravens for a second and fifth round pick. Now, unfortunately, Roquan Smith is one of the best linebackers in the NFL, and the Bears just lost him. So that's unfortunate. However, you got to keep in mind, this was the last year of his contract. So let's say in March, he walks from Baltimore, doesn't re-sign with them. Well, in that case, the Chicago Bears absolutely fleeced the Baltimore Ravens. But there's bigger things on the horizon. You know, GM Ryan Poles, he knew that this roster pretty much had to be overturned. And so when we take a look at the Bears upcoming offseason, they have $100 million in cap space. It is by far, and it's not even close, the most amount of cap space in the entire NFL. They have a first round pick, a second round pick, the second round pick from Baltimore, a third, a fourth, another fourth from Philly, a fifth, another fifth from Baltimore, and seventh. So it's going to be an active draft, and it's going to be active drafts for years to come. So I like the optimism as far as just a ton of cap space and a ton of draft assets so i like that however you know deep down it hurts man it's not ideal to see robert quinn roquan smith and these are the only two in the last week i mean danny trevathan eddie goldman akeem hicks like you could list it off and off and off specifically with the defense in the last year less than a year all the the og bears defenders that have been either traded away or just lost so it sucks however you know when you bring a new gm in town when you bring in a new coaching staff a new scheme on both sides of the ball yeah it, it just kind of was a matter of time it sucks though because roquan smith is one of those playmakers you know he's to me an undisputed top two linebacker in the entire nfl so now from here on out, you know, Chicago, they're going to have a top draft pick most likely. I do like what I've been seeing from Justin Fields. I feel like the defense has been getting, you know, less reliable, less explosive as the season's gone on. You know, just kind of unloading free agents, whether injuries have occurred or they're just, you know, I don't want to use the word stagnant, but it's very clear that this year for Chicago, your focus is on the future years and evaluating your current talent. So to me, with about half of the season remaining, this is going to be just a big, big time for Justin Fields. Now, if you've watched this channel, you know my thoughts on Justin Fields. I love Justin Fields. I get the bad track record from Ohio State. I get he didn't have the best, most efficient rookie season. I get he's not you know, crazy 350 passing yards, four touchdowns, and a rushing touchdown quarterback. But I still have hope. I still have faith in Justin Fields. However, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't if he doesn't do a few things by the end of the season, I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to draft a QB in an early round because this is a pretty loaded draft class as far as QBs go. It's pretty loaded draft class from the looks of it in general, but especially with the QBs, it seems like it's a very deep QB oriented draft. So maybe, I mean, at most, I think Justin Fields is a year and a half left in Chicago until he starts proving he's the guy, he's the franchise piece. But, you know, I think the Bears had a very underrated draft this past season. Guys like Jaquan Brisker, guys like Kyler Gordon, they're going to get there. You know, I know Kyler didn't necessarily start great, but I love what I've been seeing from, from Brisker. I just like the young talent that they have. I like the young talent that they got in this last year's draft. And I think while it is some dark days to be a Chicago Bears fan, most Bears fans are excited and hopeful for the future. So let me know what you guys are thinking. As always, hit that like button, hit that sub button. I'll see you guys later.